Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I will be sharing a recipe our family usually makes around the holidays, Polish Plotzek. So let's get into this. I promised previously in my birth vlog that I would share my family's recipe for Plotzek. So today I'm fulfilling that promise. It is a Polish sweet bread that isn't overly sweet, but definitely delicious. It is a yeast bread, and the recipe I'm sharing today makes about two loaves. Typically, we just place the dough in the pans and top them with streusel, but I wanted to try making it in the form of a swirled bread too, incorporating the streusel inside the dough. So on a separate day, I made the recipe again and assembled the dough differently. I will share my thoughts on this method at the end of the video. But first, make sure to screenshot the recipe here if you want to try this for yourself. For years, my mom would make this bread pretty much by hand. One of the steps was incorporating butter and shortening into the dough, which was a messy and hand cramping process. This step in particular made my mom kind of dislike making Plotzek, even though we loved it so much so we only got it once or twice a year. As I dove deeper into baking, I suggested making the bread dough in the stand mixer using the bread hook. This made the process much easier and more enjoyable. Then, after I got my own bread maker, I thought, why not try making the dough in the machine? We had to half the original recipe to fit the bread maker, and then we let the machine make the dough and bake it. We didn't like how it turned out when the machine actually baked the dough, but ever since, we have let the bread machine make the dough and keep the dough warm during its first rise. But if you don't have a bread machine, you can make this yummy sweet bread either using your hands or a stand mixer if you have one. If you are in cooler weather, or if you find that the dough isn't rising as quickly as you'd like, one trick is to set the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then turn it off. Then place your dough in the warm oven covered with a damp towel and let it rise. As I mentioned before, we love to enjoy this bread during the holidays. On Christmas morning, we typically butter up tons of slices and toss them in the oven under the broil setting so that they all get toasted at once, rather than doing them one by one in a toaster. This method is a lot faster and just as delicious. So on this day, I decided to try the new technique by assembling the dough like a cinnamon roll, using half of the streusel topping inside the dough and using the other half to place on top of the dough. In the future, if I try this method again, I think I will double the streusel recipe so that the amount on top doesn't get gypped. The topping is one of our favorite parts and making the bread this way seemed like it was just missing a lot of the topping, even though it was incorporated inside the dough.
Let me know down in the comments if you plan on giving this a try, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.